Good day, my brothers and sisters. And today I'd like to welcome you to JCC's Life Application, where we're going in and using the Word of God to provide a life application for our lives. Today I would like for you to turn to Leviticus, the 13th chapter, and we're going to read the first three verses. And it reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying, When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising a scab or a bright spot, and it be the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought unto Aaron the priest, and unto one of his sons the priest. And the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh. And when the hair in the plague is turned white, and the plague is in the sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, and it is a plague of leprosy, and the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. Today I would like to look at a topic of the things that separate us from our God. We know that leprosy is a disease that causes separation. It causes loneliness, and it causes death. Brothers and sisters, sin does the same thing. It has the same components that it is of leprosy. It begins to start small and begins to irritate our skin and begins to take over our bodies all the way to a point of death. And today we want to go in and see how sin also brings about that separation from God. Just as leprosy causes separation, just as leprosy causes loneliness, just as separation, leprosy causes death, Sin has the same qualities of leprosy. It begins to bring about separation from our God. And as sin begins to continue to dwell in our bodies, dwell in our lives, it brings about a loneliness as our spirit becomes lonely. Uh, it does not have that connection with God any further. And the longer we stay in sin, it will bring about Brothers and sisters, the only cure for sin is to acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Savior. Yes, we need the Messiah to save us from sin. The only cure for leprosy, as we saw in the, in the Bible, is when one came in and surrendered their will to the will of God. Yes, even in the Bible, leprosy was cured. But we see in the New Testament, in Mark, that first chapter around the 40th verse, we see that Jesus Christ came in and said he was willing to heal. So that lets us know right there as the leper came to Jesus Christ and said, Lord, are you willing to heal me? And Christ said, I'm willing. The very same thing for us today with sin is that we must understand that we have to come to our Messiah. Our Messiah is willing to heal us from sin. We cannot heal ourselves. We must go to our Heavenly Father the way that He had made for us to be redeemed from sin, to be redeemed from death, is only through His Son, the Messiah. So I stopped by to tell you today in order for you to be healed, you must go through. Jesus the Christ. You must go through him and him alone to be healed from sin. Sin, my brothers and sisters, is eating away at many of us. Sin is corrupting us. Sin is causing further and further separation. It's causing us to be isolated, to be lonely. And we, the only cure that we can have is through Jesus Christ. Somebody today is dealing with the sin of addiction, whether it be drugs, alcohol, whether it be prescription drugs, whether it be whatever it may be, it's still sin and it's causing a separation in your family, a loneliness in your life, and if continue, like I say, it will cause death. We need to rectify that sin. We need to allow Jesus Christ to come in and be that barrier that separates us from sin and brings us into a unification with our Savior. We need to have that sin and be gone from our lives and allow the Holy Spirit 
to come into our lives, to give us that power that we need, that power that we desire in order to walk a walk, to be able to talk a talk, to be able to do the things that God wants us to do. And the only way you'll be able to have these things is you got to first let Christ in. And then when you let Christ in, the Holy Spirit accompanies him. And when the Holy Spirit accompanies it, the Holy Spirit brings about comfort, brings about preservation, brings about a sense of commitment if we're willing to surrender to it. We need to allow this here Holy Spirit to help us, to bring us back to a place from separation to a place of connection, to a place of belonging, to a place where we once were isolated, to a place where we are unified, unified back with our families, unified back with our God, unified back into society. We need the Holy Spirit to come in and help us to walk this walk so that we may be able to satisfy God. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we need to understand that just as leprosy was a tragic disease, just as leprosy caused lepers to be isolated, to live in leprous colonies, we need to have the covering of the blood of Jesus Christ to bring us back into the love of our family, into the love of a spiritual family in the Lord. Let's pray. Dear God, please empower me through your Holy Spirit. Empower me, Father God, to live a holy and acceptable life. Allow me to be able to live a life that I may qualify to go into your kingdom, O oh Father God. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will plant fear in our hearts. Plant it, O oh Lord, Father God, that I can respect you. Respect your word. Respect the rules and regulations that go with it. And Lord, help allow the Holy Spirit to help me to comply to them all. Oh, Father God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that if any amongst us have sinned, that right now, oh Lord, as they ask for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness of the sin that they have committed in this here body. And oh, Father God, as they accept you as their Lord, as their Savior, as they come before you and surrender their will for your will, as they put complete faith and trust in you. I pray, Father God, that you would write their name in the Lamb's book of life. Oh, Father God, we make this a request. We make this request, oh, Father God, in your precious Son, Jesus Christ's name. The name that's above every name, the name that was in the beginning as it was the word that became flesh and dwelt here among us. Oh, Father God, help us in our walk, in our talk with you. Oh, Lord, we bless your name right now. We magnify you from on high. Give us, oh, Father God, what you desire us to have. We ask this all in your son Jesus' name we pray. 